Hello, and welcome to Rosedale College's virtual open evening. Given the difficult circumstances in which we find ourselves at the start of this most unusual year, at Rosedale College, we have done our absolute utmost to ensure that every student and every staff member and visitor is as safe as they can be while on our site. In our main reception area, we have several measures in place. We have an automated face detection thermometer for visitors and individuals. We have social distancing prompts, such as our mats, and protective screens in front of our reception area. We also have thermal imaging cameras at entrance locations around the college that have the capacity to take multiple temperatures at once, informing reception staff if anybody has an above average reading. We have hand sanitising stations right across the college and we have social distancing rules at break times, lunch times and within lessons as well. Our corridors and stairs are clearly marked out with a one-way system. In lessons where students share items or equipment, these items are wiped down with disinfectant between every usage. I hope you can see that we are fully safe and compliant and that we take the safety and well-being of everybody in our college community very seriously. Welcome to Rosedale College. I am a Year 7 student and I have recently joined the School Council. I will be your tour guide for today and I will show you around the school. Hello and a very warm welcome to the virtual open evening for Rosedale College. Rosedale College is an oversubscribed secondary school in Hayes for students aged 11 to 19. We are extremely proud to be the school of choice for our community, with a waiting list for most year groups. This is a testament to our students and staff who work extremely hard to make the college so successful. Our values at Rosedale College are clear. We aim to nurture the ambition, enterprise and potential of every child so that everyone is able to attain the highest possible academic standards develop fully as an individual and prosper. We believe that everyone is of equal worth and that everyone has something positive to contribute to our community. Students are expected to do their best at all times, to be honest and above all to enjoy their learning. We have high expectations of behaviour, attendance and work ethic and ask that our parents, guardians and carers support us in these endeavours. Rosedale College is an Ofsted rated good school in all areas. Our inspection report recognises this. It says, all staff demonstrate the same high expectations regarding pupils' behaviour and achievement. Pupils make exceptional progress from their starting points and achieve impressive examination results by the end of Key Stage 4. The college delivers exceptional results for its students with above national average outcomes in most subjects, including English and mathematics. After post-16, students secure high quality university places and apprenticeships, including to Russell Group Universities, and courses such as medicine and dentistry. Our alumni have even returned to the college to provide career support and guidance to our students. At Rosedale College, we operate an alliance system Effectively, each student is placed in an alliance form group from year 7 through to post 16. Each alliance is then looked after by an alliance director who supports the form tutors in their team as well as their subject teams. There are eight alliances in the college with each vice principal overseeing four each. Your first point of contact will typically be your child's form tutor or alliance director. In key stage 3, the form tutors are called TLAs. This stands for Teaching and Learning Associates. These colleagues stay with their class all day for their lessons, therefore developing a close relationship with their form group. We follow the national curriculum for Key Stage 3. Students study a broad programme of English, Mathematics, Science, Information Technology, Humanities, the Arts, French, Sport and PE. You can see exactly what each year group are learning in each subject on our website in our curriculum area. We have a varied range of enrichment and extracurricular activities, from debating clubs to go-karting. Students also have the opportunity to go on external trips and visits, nationally and internationally, 
as well as taking part in competitions against other schools around the country. Our staff are also dedicated to supporting students reach their potential, offering after-school booster classes, half-term and holiday workshops. The college has a designated science, technology, engineering and mathematics building, kitted out with high quality resources. Each alliance area has a dedicated part of the college. There is also a well-stocked manned library. We are unique in that our Year 7 students benefit from their own dedicated Year 7 block on the campus, positioned away from the main college building, which allows the Year 7s to settle into secondary school life. Year 7 remain in these base classrooms for most of their lessons, with their teaching and learning associate, while teachers come to them. For specialist lessons such as science, PE and the arts, students will be escorted over to those areas. We have staggered break and lunch times so that Year 7 have breaks at a different time to other year groups. We also have a cashless payment system, which you can find out more about on our website. Our sports facilities boast a 3G Astro, a multi-surface area that can be used for a variety of team sports, a six badminton court sports hall and a large outdoor field area. We take looking after our students' safety, behaviour and welfare extremely seriously. Our principal and two vice principals are our designated safeguarding leads, supported further by the Trust Lead Safeguarding Officer. Our staff undertake regular training so they know how to keep our students safe, with welfare staff and first aiders on call should a student feel unwell. Students with special educational needs and or disabilities are supported in class by their teachers and, if appropriate, their teaching and learning associate. We are an inclusive college and as such SEND students are supported in their lessons alongside their peers. The college has flagship status for the Inclusion Quality Mark, recognising its inclusive practice and ongoing commitment to developing educational inclusion. We have extremely high expectations of attendance. Our college attendance officer works closely with the local authority participation team to support students with poor attendance. We also take the mental health and well-being of our students seriously and have developed our PSHE curriculum, assemblies and form time to encourage and promote healthy minds. We believe that communication with home is paramount. We have a weekly college newsletter which is published on our website and emailed to parents, guardians and carers. Our website also has regular announcements and updates. Your first point of contact is usually your child's form tutor, TLA, or their Alliance Director. Our staff are proactive in their communications with home and understand the importance of the home-college relationship in order to support our students. We are extremely proud that we've been awarded the Leading Parent Partnership Award. This recognises the strong and effective work that the college undertakes with its parents, guardians and carers. The external verifier commented that parents praised the excellent communication between home and college, the open and easy access to staff. They appreciate the detailed information, i.e. the students' progress and the college's strong sense of community and highlighted some of the things our family said about us, including, my son skyrocketed here. It's a marvellous school. The college provides extra provision, bespoke, targeted support. Undeniably, one of the greatest strengths of the college is being part of a multi-academy trust. By being part of a trust of seven schools, both primary and secondary, staff and students benefit from shared resources and expertise. Across our secondary phase, we have staff who are examiners and assessors who can share their skills and subject knowledge with our teams. We can collaborate on projects, undertake joint trips, take part in competitions and benefit from mutual support as part of one trust community. We hope you enjoy our virtual open evening event. If you have any questions, you can contact the college via email. If any of your questions are about admissions, please use the contact information given in the separate admissions link as admissions for Year 7 are done via the local authority. From all our staff and students, thank you and we really hope that you enjoy this event.
Um, <coughs> welcome to Rosedale College. I'm here to uh, present the new IT suite that we have now because we have new PCs and new software that we can use. And here uh, we now have the latest Adobe suites and the latest Microsoft uh, Office suites where we can use Microsoft Teams if we need to do some online work or if we uh, just want to uh, do our work on IT like doing e-safety or any of our courseworks for us to do. Here this young man is using Word where he's able to talk about um, the objectives that he needs to do for his business project and here he's using uh, Excel from Microsoft Office where he's, a he's able to access what he needs in order to do his task. He's also using um, Microsoft Word where he's listing his objectives that he needs to do for his task. Here this young gentleman is using Adobe Dreamweaver which is our latest Adobe software that we can access and he's uh, using this to design a website for the tasks that he needs to do. Welcome to English Alliance. Come and see what we do here. This looks interesting. Why don't we take a look? Okay, sure. Good morning, team. Good morning, Inspector. As you can see, there was an incident last night and we have our victim here. There are three pieces of evidence at hand currently. Evidence one. This seems to be a ticket to the theatre. True. That, sound, that seems like a baby sound. Indeed. It seems like a bleach bowl. We have the theatre ticket, we have the baby scan, and we have the bottle of bleach. There were developments last night, team. Therefore, I have four additional pieces of evidence to hand to you. Additional one. Additional two. Additional three. Additional four. Team, you are my best officers and my best investigators. I have chosen you specifically for this case. It is complex and it's difficult. But I expect results and I expect the case to be cracked. I need you please to go away. I need you to analyse the additional pieces of evidence you were given along with the three pieces of evidence before you. I want to know, team, what happened, when it happened, why it happened and how it happened. It's down to you. Off you go. Team, I think I found some evidence. This letter is a dismissal effective immediately. The circumstances surrounding your dismissal are as follows. A customer has made a complaint against you, citing impertinent and incorrigible behaviour. As such, please ensure that you take all personal belongings with you. Maybe she got fired from her job. And yeah, on my evidence, it says that she was fired in September. It seems here that she had received a letter from the Women's Charity Organisation. It reads, to whom it may concern. This letter to inform you that after careful consideration, your appeal to the Bromley Women's Charity Organisation has been denied. Please note that your application cannot be cannot be considered at any other time. Yours sincerely, the Women's Charity Organisation, Bromley. But team, I don't get it. In her certificate of death, it says she was single, but somehow she was um, pregnant. And it doesn't really say if she was divorced or not, so how are we going to figure this out? We've got this. We have to do it and we're going to get this. So. In English, we do a lot of oral activities such as debating speeches and presentations today we are debating about whether a person should change their personality or not 
Um, they, are for they are for and we are against. Firstly, I believe that as a person grows, they like to um, discover new things and they have new beliefs. To contradict your point, everybody has a destiny and if they come away from that destiny, that means they are like throwing their life away. For example, say if I was five um, and then um, I take a different route from my destiny and my life goes bad, that's just um, wasting my life. On the other half of my partner's point you could be ch when you change you most likely change into a better ver a better version of yourself this means that you're advancing into life however life is hard and if you're changing for life you're changing into a bad person thank you for joining our debate come join our school to see what happens next in English, we also study poems, but not just that, we also write our own poems and they can get published. For example, I'm going to read a snippet of my poem called Superheroes, which was published in the anthology Through Their Eyes. You may or may not know it, these heroes are all for it. Hold your trust in them, for surely they will be grateful when you fly your nest and remember them. Your teachers, parents and guardians are the best. They are the real superheroes, fighting for your progress and nothing less. Respect them for success. And now, I'll take you through to Humanities where we have a speech going on. Welcome to today's citizenship presentation. Our first speaker, Vakari, will be speaking about the benefits of migration. Give a round of applause for Vakari as she takes the podium. Although some may argue that immigration ruins our country, there are many reasons that prove this wrong. Some may argue that immigration means less jobs, less resources and less housing. Immigration actually leads to many positive outcomes for a country such as increased economic output. Net immigration leads to higher economic growth with corresponding raising tax revenues and potential government spending. In addition to this, immigration solves a skills shortage. If an economy has a shortage of skilled workers, such as nurses and doctors, it would take several years to train new workers. But the health service cannot afford the wait. Immigration enables a shortage to be filled immediately. Carrying on with the topic of jobs, immigration also helps by filling undesirable job spots. Some types of jobs are often difficult to be filled by native-born workers due to low wages and or the prestige attached to that kind of work. For example, farmers often rely on immigrant workers to pick crops. A decline of immigration in 2019 led to farmers claiming they were unable to pick their harvest because they couldn't get the seasonal labour. Immigration provides a benefit to businesses and employers who rely on flexible labour to fill job spots. Moving away from economics, another benefit of immigration is that it helps create a multicultural society. Immigration leads to a greater cultural diversity which gives our country a more diverse and inclusive feel. Countries with immigrants have, more, have observed some aspects of current culture in their country be in cuisine, music, literature or political issues. These points show that although immigration is seen in a negative light, it really isn't, and in reality, immigration helps our country so much. And now Adam will present the disadvantages of leaving the European Union. So give him a round of applause as he takes the podium. If Britain leaves the EU, we'll lose a massive amount of goodwill from people elsewhere in Europe. As well as damaging the UK's own economy, a vote for Brexit is likely to set off a domino effect that damages economies throughout Europe. When this happens, angry fingers will be pointed at Britain as the nation that deliberately wrecked the EU. Over the last 40 years, membership of the EU has actually been very beneficial to the UK. When we joined in 1976, Britain was a sick man of Europe. Becoming part of the world's largest union of independent states has helped our economy, our wealth, our science and development, and our status on the world stage. The EU is a force of peace and stability in a continent that has been long fractured by wars and national rivalries. It was set up and still functions to, to vend and promote peace, democracy and democratic institutions throughout Europe. The last thing Europe wants is to return to being a continent divided by rival nations as it was in 1914 or 1939 with the consequences that we all know. Many Brexiteers seem to imagine that a, Brex a Brexit will turn the clock back to some golden past where Britannia ruled the waves and the empire. But no amount of imagining will bring the past back. Many there are some who feel big businesses want the UK to remain in the EU for its own interests, for its big profits. They do, 
but profitable, business, profitable businesses create jobs and their profits will most likely go to big investors, for example, pension funds. Our Brexit will hit our big companies and our small ones, and while it may mean that some people don't get bigger bonuses, a far bigger impact will be that a lot of ordinary people lose their jobs or can't get the jobs that they have been moved to the co that they have that they had before as they've been moved to the continent or to Ireland and pensions will be smaller if businesses are less profitable. These are but a few reasons as to why the UK should have remained in the EU. Thank you Adam for that wonderful presentation. I'm sure we've learned a lot. Give a round of applause for Adam for his phenomenal presentation. <laughs> In year 10, we learn about physical geography, which consists of coastal landforms and rivers. We follow the Dexel B format. Here we have an example of a river landform. A river landform has three different stages. The first stage is the upper stage. This is where the source can be found. This is also where the river is at its steepest and waterfalls occur. The second stage is where the river meanders. This is known as when the river turns. The final stage is where the river is at its widest. This is known as the mouth. And this is where the river connects to the sea. A lagoon is formed when sediments are deposited across the entrance of the bay. These small sediments are known as the bar. The enclosed area completely surrounded by the mainland is known as the lagoon. A beach is formed when small rocks and pebbles are deposited by the waves. This process repeats over time until a beach is formed. A, a tombolo is an island completely surrounded by ocean water. A tombolo connects uh, to the mainland by carrying out sediments. This is a spit. This is formed due to the longshore drift carrying sediments across the shore. The sediments come to a stop at the mouth of a river due to the opposing force, force from the river and the sea. The sediments start gathering up and form land. This is the art department and here we are practicing our oil blending and our impasto technique. Right now I'm just starting with some simple blending techniques with my oil pastels. So I'll start with a darker colour and I'll just move in to lighter shades of it. And as I get to the middle I'll go to the other side, take a different colour and do the exact same thing. And then when I get to the middle I'll make sure they are nicely blended together to create a nice little impact. The other th technique we will be using later is the impasto technique which is using thick layers of paint go and using nice light strokes with it. There we go, and that's the technique done. You can use multiple colours to do this and it creates like a really nice blended effect for drawings or paintings. It can be used for like backgrounds and everything, so yeah. Also, by using this technique we can achieve something like that and then by blending in we can see all the shadows and everything being carried on. So we're starting with simple little drawings and then we can actually achieve something very beautiful. For example, this one. You can see that all the colours are nicely blended in and it's all using the same technique I've just been using. And you, by joining Rosedale College, can also achieve this. Welcome to the Language Alliance. Here's a fun experience that we have been doing. Bonjour tout le monde. Ça, c'était un match. Tu as bien joué. Bonjour, oui. J'ai bien joué. L'équipe a bien joué. Qu'est-ce que tu fais pour rester en front? Je me traîne chaque joué. Je joue au foot chaque joué. Aussi, je mange sain, je mange des foots et des légumes. Bonjour, Hussein. Ah, allô, tu es frais de ton équipe. Bonjour, Marie Lohman, on a bien joué. Bonjour, docteur. Bonjour, monsieur Mossin. Qu'est-ce qui ne veut pas euh, Je ne me sens pas bien du tout. J'ai mal partout. Je suis enroumé et j'ai passé la nuit à vomir. Vous avez de la température 
Oui, j'avais euh, 39 de fièvre ce matin. Vous avez des courbatures aussi Oui, partout. Je peux vous examiner Vous avez attrapé la grippe. Vous devez rester chez vous et prenez trois doliprane trois fois par jour. Voici votre ordonnance. Merci docteur, au revoir. This is the STEM building. We're going to go into the technology room and we're going to be looking at mechanical cars. As you can see, I'm trying to build a remote car just like this one here. Hi, I'm Ayuri, and today I'll walk you through the Rosedale cafeteria. Welcome to the Rose Cafe. I am a year 10 student who is also the manager of the Rose Cafe. Please follow me this way. I am a year 10 student and I am the assistant manager of the Rose Cafe. Key Stage 3 students have two food technology lessons per week. All ingredients are provided by the school. Here are some samples we have made. So this is the barbecue chicken which I'm making. This is the sauce which I'm gonna baste the chicken with and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven.
Oh, we do it so that it enhances the flavour and so that all the meat and the juices go through to the chicken and so the flavour becomes better and bigger. It gives it that real authentic barbecue taste. And now I'll put it back in the oven. Now we let it go and we rest until it's done. Today we are icing the uh, chocolate cake that we're going to serve at the Rose Cafe. We're icing this cake because it's going to be very tasty once you serve it. One thing I like about Food Tech is the different foods that we can use to make new meals. We do this every Thursday and every other classes that we can. I also, we also love our lovely teacher, she helps us with everything. We also have Club Elite and I am the president of the club. The club takes place every Thursday after school and this is the vice president. We have many different functions for parents and staff that take place in winter and summer. As a part of Club Elite, we learn different cooking techniques and different recipes from different cultures. What I enjoy most is the friendly atmosphere and how well we work together as a team to achieve one goal. This is the final product that we made. We achieved this by working together as a team. Would you look at those, they're gorgeous, they look delicious. They're so good, I can't wait for you to try it and have a taste. teachers here at the Rosedale College. Today some of our wonderful students will be taking you on a journey through their life as Rosedale science students, science style. A few of our students have agreed to give you a sneak peek into what science lessons are like. You'll see fun colorful experiments, you'll see dissections, you'll see flames. Come on, let's go. Hi, I'm Sabina and I'm a year nine student here at Rosedale College. What I really love about the Science Alliance is that they truly let us do a lot of experiments. During your science lessons, you'll be able to do a lot of practicals. Isn't that right, Leo? That is right. Today, we're going to be bartenders. Really? So what are you going to be serving us? We're going to have regular wine, and then we're going to turn this red wine into fizzy lemonade, into milk and a milkshake. We're even going to turn it into water. Really? Red wine into water? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So why don't you start? our regular red, red wine, then the fizzy lemonade, milk, the milkshake, and our water.
This is awesome. We don't just get to learn about the scientific equipment, but we get to use it as well. Wow, this cell membrane is really cool. Let me, say, let me take a look. Oh, wow. the shape of the cell looks so different. I love it. Learning about the body can be very interesting, especially when we have real organs to help us learn. As you can see, I am going to dissect a, a sheep's heart. As you can see, the left side is thicker than the right side. This is because this part pumps the blood all the way to the, uh, all through the body, and this part pumps it only to the lungs. This is how it looks on the inside. These are one of the opportunities that I've been able to have at Rosedale and you can have it too if you come here. Did you know that chemical reactions are really cool? No, not really. Here's the, I'll show you. Like water. Oh, wow. They turned white. I doubt anything will happen to this one. Um, can I find another one? Yeah, you can do the last one. They turned yellow. This looks like paint. Maybe you were right. Chemical reactions are interesting. Hey, come here. So I learned something really interesting today. What did you learn today? Well, I was doing a chemical reaction, and I learned that a, two clear, a clear substance and a blue substance turn into this. Look, half solid, half wow, liquid. And it's really cool, right? And a clear and an orange turn into this. Looks like it's blood, doesn't it? Love the colour. Two clear substances also turn into this. It looks like there's gum in there. <laughs> and it's really white. Right? And this is the best one. This is mine. I did this. Two clear substances turn into this. It's yellow. It's like it's paint. And it's as yellow as the sun. Right? So I think it was very interesting. At first I thought it wasn't that cool, but I changed my mind. Chemical reactions are cool. I like this piece reaction. I'm going to get silver to form over this copper wire. As you can see, the wire starts to darken. Physics is absolutely amazing. You get to use real life equipment like circuits to investigate factors. You can use light bulbs, motors, buzzers, and make new circuits and investigate new things. This is a series circuit and this is a parallel circuit. In a series circuit, you, just, you can use these two wires and turn on the bulb, or you can put the wires over here and turn on the bulb with a higher voltage and a sound. This is a parallel circuit. Now in the parallel circuit, as the power bank is powering the bulb and the bulb is only working but the motor isn't because there is a switch that prevents it from making noise and also helps it make noise as well. Apps like Spotify and Deezer use equalizers but it's a real thing in physics. It's called a Rubens tube. Hi everyone. So as my students said, this is indeed called a Rubens tube and it is 
a device which we use to show waves. So you can show sound waves. This is amp. Sound waves are actually just air particles moving at different densities. If I were to connect my frequency generator here to my tube, there's gas, there's fire, I can get the fire to dance. Just in the same way that the app show based on the frequency of the wave. So this is for the frequency. So once I turn my frequency generator on, I have a low pitch sound, so you can see my waves are long. Higher the pitch, the shorter the frequency. You see my waves changing. And if I were to change my waves even more, this is why science is fun. And if you come to Rosedale, we will be using this to show you relationship between frequency, pitch, and wavelength. This is an experiment to be done under strict supervision by professionals only. Do not try this at home. Welcome to our Maths Alliance. This is um, our classroom. I'm just going to take you in and show you some activities we have for you. So every year we celebrate Pi Day on 14th of March. Pi has a value of 3.14. Um, we, we make posters and t-shirts celebrating Pi Day. These are some of the t-shirts and posters we made on Pi Day. Every week in Rosedale we get set homework on my maths and if you don't understand you could always click on the less you could always do a lesson if you don't understand. And also if you are really stuck, we get given passwords and username to go to Maths Watch and you can watch videos on how to do on how to do stuff. Based pyramid. This is also a square based pyramid. This is the net of it. We get questions like this in our GCSE exams. Rosedale is diverse. No matter what ethnicity, religion or race you are, you always feel welcome at Rosedale. Hi, welcome to our school sports hall. This is where we do a lot of our indoor sports. Right here we have table tennis, cricket and badminton. I really like doing sports in Rosedale College because it's fun, it keeps me active and healthy and the teachers are really kind. Hi, I'm a Rosedale College student and I really like the PE lessons here because I get to compete against my friends and do loads of different fun sports. I even got the opportunity to compete in Borough Athletics where I had a really fun time and made lots of new friends.
Wow, there was a lot to see. Hope you enjoyed the tour and hopefully we see you this September.